Well, welcome, everybody, and thank you for taking the time to be with us here on our webinar. This webinar is being brought to you by UC Irvine Extension, and today we're going to be talking about Google AdWords and the certification process for Google AdWords. Just a couple quick points before we get going. Uh, the webinar is, um, uh, we've muted the, the, the audio line so uh, we don't get as much background noise. So use the chat area in the right side of the screen. Should be about there or possibly down here. The, either the chat or the Q&A. If you don't have either of those uh, on your screen, you want to go up to the top right, and it's, you can't see it on my screen, but you can see it on yours. Top right, there's some tabs that you can click, and you can uh, get either the chat or the uh, Q&A area up. We will be monitoring those questions all along. We really encourage uh, questions and interaction here. Uh, it uh, makes it more valuable for everybody. And, if, if, and by the way, if there's any technical questions at all, if, if your audio goes down or if you have any trouble at all with the, with the WebEx itself, you can see that Eric is up there. It says UCI Eric. You can chat directly to Eric with any technical questions. All right, with that, I just wanted to uh, introduce our, our speaker here today, Dr. Ash Pawa. Uh, Dr. Pa has been with us here at the university for a long time, helping us build out current uh, course content in areas where there's high demand and high job growth. And he's one of the guys that really brings us a lot of these new areas, kind of before they, they, they get hot, which is you know one of these areas in Google AdWords. Uh, he has taught for us for a long time. He's going to introduce himself with a little bit more detail, but he's also been a, a strong advisory board member for us in a number of our programs, because one of our key goals here at the, at the university is not just to teach undergraduates and, and do a lot of research, but it's also to help working adults and, and help the working population, help the employers make sure that they have people that have the right skill sets. A lot of times people come out of school with a degree, but they don't have a specific skill set that is really resonant with the needs of industry. And that's where we come in with these short courses, sometimes a certificate program uh, to help out. And again, they're designed for working adults. Uh, they're all online and, and simple, and easy to uh, apply for. So what we will do is we will let Ash uh, take over now and uh, talk to you about this particular uh, certification process uh, for Google AdWords, very popular, popular topic. Uh, thank you very much, Dave. Uh, and my, and, um, uh, so we, we are going to talk about the Google AdWords certification today. And my name is Ash Pawa. And I'm going to introduce uh, myself uh, in the next uh, slide. Um, uh, so, le so this particular um, uh, this particular webinar is primarily focused towards Google AdWords. Google AdWords actually is a service. I'm sorry. Now it looks better. <laughs> uh, Google AdWords is a service from Google which allows us to, to place an advertisement on the search engine result page. Uh, as a matter of fact, Google AdWords is so popular uh, and so profitable for Google uh, that uh, almost 95% uh, of the revenue that Google gets is from AdWords. And Google is around 60 to $70 billion corporation the price of the stock has crossed $1,000. So it's a very profitable and also a very successful uh, service from Google. So we are going to focus primarily on uh, Google AdWords. So this is the outline for today's webinar. First of all, we are going to look into what is search market, uh, marketing uh, industry. Uh, then we are going to, uh, uh, to understand what is PPC. PPC actually stands for uh, pay-per-click. And uh, so we're going to look into very briefly the history of PPC, the benefits of, of, of uh, PPC, the ad creation process, then how to compute the return on investment. This is a very important uh, feature of, of Google AdWords is that uh, we can find out uh, whether our ads are working or not. And this is something very unique about the AdWords. No other platform basically provides that thing. And as one of the, I'm sorry, real sure. quick, the question that came in uh, from Barry was, uh, what sector in computer science is recommended uh, for this certificate? And 
We get a lot of different people in these courses, even without computer science degrees. Yeah, right. So uh, here, if you have a background in marketing, this is the best place to be in. And marketing and programming, uh, this is a, the, 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 the kind of combination. Uh, but most of the students who are who, like, who have been coming to my classes uh, are actually from uh, the marketing section because PPC is nothing but marketing on the search engine. Right. So, but since it also involves software technology, if you have a background uh, in web technology, then it makes it uh, then 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 you can understand the whole concept much 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 deeper. Right. Right. And, this is, and we see from the job market, we see kind of really both because some people come at this from a little bit more on the computer science side, and they might be dealing with Google AdWords, but they also might be dealing with how to, how to write the, the uh, HTML or, or any of the content on the web and, and make it to make sure that it gets a higher uh, 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 rating on a search engine and that you really work those Google AdWords uh, efficiently, which is Ash is going to talk about. And again, other people come in a little bit uh, for more of the pure marketing side. So you right. really do not need a, a, a computer science degree, but it can be helpful. Right. Okay, so this is my background. Um, I earned my PhD in computer science. If you want to know more about my background, you can go to uh, www.ashpower.com. Uh, I also own one of the business here, which is called A Plus Web Services, where we provide the internet marketing services, SEO, PPC, web analytics, and social media. We also build websites. Uh, my field of expertise is web technologies, uh, .NET, ASP.NET, uh, digital image processing, database management system, CD-ROM, and DVDs. I have worked before for General Electric, AT&T Bell Labs, and also Oracle Corporation. I'm also an authorized consultant for Google. Actually, to um, actually to get the certification, you have to clear the examination. So I have cleared that exam, and uh, so I'm an authorized consultant for Google Analytics. Okay, so first of all, let's look into the search market. You know, this is a place where the volume is. The number of searches which are being done is 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 uh, almost three billion searches a day. And as you can see, this particular statistic is a little bit old. Uh, so very likely by 2013, by the end of 2013, this number could very well be somewhere around kind of a 5 billion uh, uh, searches per day or somewhere around there. So if you just take 3 billion, that comes out to be 34,000 searches per second. Uh, so it's a huge number. So online searching basically has truly become a part of our society and culture. Means and now, of course, people search these things also on the cell phones. Uh, so uh, I mean, you can have the uh, access to uh, the entire encyclopedia or the entire world knowledge is available on your on your fingertips right now. And this is another kind of statistic that more than 85 percent of the U.S. population searches some product or services on on the internet. So as you can see, this graph is going up, and the saturation point of this number is around 95 or 98 percent, because 98 percent of the people in America have a television, 98 percent of the people have telephone, and and so on and on. So this number has to climb a little bit more. So we have reached at the kind of a saturation point. So this basically proves that search has become a part of our society and culture, and we cannot live without without search or without Google, likely at this stage. So as you can see, that because of the searching is there is so much amount of searching going on, this creates a tremendous amount of uh, traffic on the website. So now the issue here is this, that where does all these services which have been offered by Google basically fit in? So we can very easily build a website there these days. There are many tools available. It's fairly easy to build a simple website. But there are millions, or I should say billions, of websites that are created every day. So now how are you going to attract that traffic which is going on? Traffic is there, we know. But the question really is this, that how are you going to attract that traffic? And because if you create one of the, any website, it will be just one of the millions of websites which will be created on that particular day. Uh, so one of the ways by which you can attract traffic is do the search engine optimization. 
uh, or you can also do Google AdWords. And this particular webinar basically is about Google AdWords. That's what basically we are talking about. But you can also attract traffic by doing search engine optimization. Search engine optimization basically means that I'm going to modify my website so that it has the right keywords and uh, Google uh, bot can uh, click and index the website. And when somebody is, when someone is searching for that particular keyword, uh, this particular website, your, your, your website will be displayed. Uh, so another other way to do this is that but you can uh, advertise with Google uh, for certain keywords. And this particular service from Google is called PPC, which stands for pay-per-click. And one of the remarkable thing about pay-per-click service is that you pay for that service only when someone is going to click on it. So that is the way AdWords is very different. Um, it is, suppose if you advertise in a newspaper, I mean, you're going to pay, uh, you're going to pay the newspaper whether anybody is going to call you or not. But here, uh, the things are different. Here you pay only when someone is going to click, and that's why it is called PPC service. So once you start attracting the, the I mean, traffic on your website, then also you have to measure it. And to do that thing, Google provides another service, which is called Google Analytics. And then you have to convert that traffic. Convert means that basically sell them whatever you are selling it or provide them the information, the, whatever information you have on the website. Uh, so that thing, and, and for that, uh, the Google provides another service, which is called Google Website Optimizer. As a matter of fact, Google Website Optimizer service has, uh, has been uh, closed, but some of the features of the, uh, of the Website Optimizer has been merged actually into uh, uh, Google Analytics. But since here we are only looking into the functionality, this is what we have to do. You have to convert the traffic. And of course, from the conversion, you have to attract more traffic, measure it, convert it. And so this kind of a cycle just goes on and on. So if you want to be successful, you have to focus on three things, how to attract traffic, how to measure traffic, and how to convert traffic. Uh, so uh, as far as the Google AdWords is concerned, Google AdWords will help you to attract traffic. And that is what the focus of this webinar is. So everybody must have seen this page because this is actually uh, the search engine result page. Uh, so now, for example, if I search for home loan, if, the, the, if these are my keywords, then I'm going to get this section, which is basically has a kind of yellow tint or background, and this section. And these two sections are coming from AdWords. And this is coming from SEO. This section number four, this whole section basically comes from SEO. Uh, so th these are organic listings, whereas th these things are paid listings. So the goal of uh, I mean PPC is that uh, your ads could be displayed here, and uh, so when someone is going to search for it, your ad will be displayed, and if somebody is going to click on those ads, it is going to take you to that particular website. So that's basically uh, what PPC is all about. Ask one of the questions that came up was, well, what about the uh, how do and I know this is a whole other course, but uh, how do I get my uh, uh, company ranked higher in in the organic area? Right. Okay. Now we can go back to this particular section. How to come back? So this thing is called SEO, which is called the search engine optimization. There are four things that we can do to improve our uh, to improve the ranking. The first of all is the indexing. We want to make sure that our website is indexed. Second thing is that we do the keyword research, find out which keyword are more applicable to what we what uh, you know what we have to offer. The third thing is that we have to write the content of the website so that it includes those keywords, and the URL should have that keyword, and uh, also uh, the title of that particular page should be that, and also you should have the proper links. So SEO basically process has got four steps. The first step, of course, is indexing, the keyword research, the content optimization, and also link optimization. So if we do those four things, then we have a higher chance that our website would be, would be displayed at a higher rank. But everything is a function of the keyword. This is what we always have to focus on, that for which keywords we are trying to, uh, trying to target. So SEO is a complete uh, um, uh, separate course that, that, I, that I teach here. 
so which is called search engine optimization. And if you do SEO, then you can improve your ranking. But right now, the focus of this particular webinar is, is AdWords, and AdWords will help you to place your ad in, 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 in this section and also in this section. So now let us try to understand what is CPC. Uh, PPC, as I, as I said before, stands for pay-per-click. So visitors basically types in uh, the keyword in the Google search, advertisers display their ad on the search engine, a result page, and when the keyword matches uh, with the keyword that they have selected, uh, your ad uh, text will be displayed and link will be displayed. So if anybody chooses to click on that link, it's gonna arrive at your website. So, but you pay only when somebody is going to actually click on your on your ad. You are in the sub, if nobody clicks on it, of course you don't pay anything. So Google basically has brought a customer to your uh, to, to your front door of your of your of your website. Now it is your job to convince that person and sell whatever you want to sell. So, so the Google services primarily is allows you to bring a, 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 a potential uh, customer on your website, uh, which has a very keen interest in those keywords which the user is searching for. So basically, that's what uh, uh, PPC services are about. So now let's also understand what is PPC. I mean, PPC basically cater to business, whether you are large or small. As a matter of fact, on the internet, uh, nobody can tell whether you have a large business or a small business. So this is a great opportunity for you to compete with the big boys. Uh, if your link, you know, if you are selling computers, your link could be uh, right next to IBM or it could be AT&T. Uh, so no one can tell just by looking at those links whether you are of a large business or a small business. And basically it shows your ad to the prospective customers at a time when they need the service the most. So this is the most important word here is that because people are hungry for that information and that is the time they are searching. So as you can see, PPC ads are actually very active form of advertising. Whereas suppose if you advertise on a billboard and someone is driving on a freeway looks at the billboard, uh, at that particular moment, the person is not in that frame of mind to understand exactly what is written on the, on the billboard. So billboard is a very passive form of advertising. Uh, a person gonna look at it, first of all, you are not supposed to look at the billboards, you are supposed to look at in the, in the front of your car, but if you just glance through that thing, you may not able to understand uh, what exactly is the message. But in, in uh, the PPC, what happens is that user has entered a keyword. The user is very strongly interested in that particular subject. And when an ad appears, there's a very high likelihood uh, that that person is going to click on it. So that is the reason why PPC is very, very effective. And another advantage is, is that you can change and delete the ad in real time. Like if you don't like the ad and if you see the ad is not working, you can change it. And within five minutes later on, you know, the new, uh, new person is going to see the, see the new ad. Uh, and uh, whereas this thing is not possible with any ad that you, you, uh, you place in a newspaper or in a magazine or in a billboard. Uh, so you cannot change those things in real time. And again, it costs only when the ad is clicked and allows business to run multiple ads and select the one which has the highest return on investment. So he, this is the only platform which allows you to compute your return, of, uh, return on investment because you are spending some money for these ads and you can find out exactly how much money you are getting out. So that, that is, these are the major advantages of PPC and that is the reason PPC has become so successful. Now let us look into very briefly, um, uh, you know, the history of uh, PPC. In fact, PPC actually started in 1996 by a company called Idea Lab, and so many people think that uh, 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 Google started it. No, Google did not start PPC. PPC was started by Idea Lab, and then Idea Lab later on actually got converted into GoTo.com, and from again they changed the name within three years to Overture Services. And then they were acquired by Yahoo. So as you can see, uh, that um, how this thing has basically progressed uh, from the last few years. Uh, and uh, so, and then Google basically appeared in year 2000. Uh, 
and they were not very successful. Google was, uh, when they first introduced AdWords, AdWords actually was a failure. Then in 2002, Google started a new thing which is called uh, the Google AdWords based on CTRs. CTR basically means click-through rates. And I'm going to discuss um, uh, more about the CTRs uh, a little bit later on. So your ad positions is actually the function of the amount of money that you're willing to bid plus CTR. CTR is a click-through rate. It means that how many people are actually clicking on your ad. Uh, so when they, un when they changed their formula, then Google became very successful. Google did not start it, uh, they, uh, I mean, did not start this, uh, this industry. When they started in 2000, they were a failure. In 2002, when they refined AdWords, then it became very successful. And now they are so successful that, as I said a few minutes back, that 95% of the revenues Google gets is from AdWords. And so AdWords is generating around $50 billion of worth of business for Google. And because of that only, the price of the Google stock and now actually has crossed $1,000. So Google is a very, very, very profitable company, and only because of AdWords. This is the reason why they make money. So now let's look into the benefits of online ads. Uh, you can have uh, the targeted um, ads. It means that you can segment the audience. You can also say like, uh, I would like to show this ad only when someone is using a particular device, any particular word they are searching for, and also the place where they are located and the language they speak. For example, you can say that my ad will be shown only to those, to those people who are using um, the browser, which is Internet Explorer. And, and the word they are using for is ABC. They are located in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, and they speak English language or they can speak uh, a Spanish language. You can specify all of these things and then you can say if a person which specifies, which, which basically um, has uh, uh, satisfied this criteria, then only the ad should be shown. So this way you can target your ads you know, very, very specifically to those people. And you can also measure it. You can compute ROI. It means that you can compute your return on, in, on investment. And you can f immediately find out whether your ads are working or not. And some, some ads, as you can see that when you try a few ads, some of them will work, some of them will not work. And you can turn off the ones which are not working uh, immediately. Uh, so uh, this, these are the major benefits of an online ad. So now let's look into one more time. What are the benefits of paid search? You get very highly qualified visitors come to your site, uh, and you can get some very quick results. If you really want to sell, if you have some merchandise, and uh, you want to sell it off in the matter of like a two, three weeks, just uh, put some money in AdWords. Your merchandise will be gone within a matter of a few weeks. Uh, so it's very effective, and it, uh, it provides very quick results. Uh, and also, it is very easy and uh, inexpensive to get started. You just need to open up an account and, you know, just punch in your credit card number. And then after that, of course, uh, you know, your ad will start. And again, you pay only when someone visits your website. And you can change your message as quickly as you can change it daily. Or if, suppose if you kind of ran out of stock of some items, you can turn the ads off. And you can also have kind of special sales and see what is uh, the sweet point of your, uh, um, of your product because everything is dependent upon the price. You can try a little bit higher price, next day lower the price, keep on lowering the price and see what is the sweet spot. And then you can sell at that point. So these are all the major, major benefits of uh, uh, PPC service. Now let's uh, now try to compare the PPC service with the print media. So now print media, as you know, is becoming obsolete. All newspapers are losing money. Uh, most of them are closing down. And uh, so print media cannot, cannot compete with PPC because you cannot change the ad uh, until the next release of the media is ready. Uh, in the case of a newspaper, you have to wait for at least a day. If it, is a, um, if it is going to be a magazine, if it is going to be a monthly magazine, then you have to wait for a month, or a weekly magazine, then you have to wait for a week. Or if it is a yellow pages, then you may possibly have to wait for three months or six months. 
uh, and it will not start uh, like start running uh, till the next delivery of the media to the customer. So suppose if you want to advertise in Yellow Pages, now Yellow Pages are going out every three months, or every six months. So you so your customers won't see those things. Uh, but uh, now now compare print media with uh, uh, PPC. Uh, I mean it can be edited in real time. Will start working in the next five minutes. You can run multiple ads and cancel any time you want to. And if ad is uh, uh, successful, you can run the same ad in any kind of online <laughs> newspapers and magazines. And also you can put them on Google Maps. So and then of course you, it starts working much better, and you can you can immediately see uh, the sales are going up. That's just real quick. A, a couple of people that have came in a little bit late. The, the, the session is being recorded, and we had that question a while back. The session is being recorded, so if you missed some of the stuff at the beginning, the contact information or anything at all, uh, you will get a link back to the recording at the end of the session. So no worries if you came in a little bit late. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, so now let's look into what kind of ad I can play. So what are the, what are the limitations of that? Now, we are limited to only 95 characters. And they should actually provide the solution a searcher is looking for. So you have to be very careful when you design an ad uh, because you are only limited to only 95 characters. So your, the words that you're going to select should draw the attention, should stand out from other ads, and provide the answer a searcher is looking for, and it should be faithful to your product or service. Uh, so it is an art to write such concise uh, words so that uh, basically it uh, kind of a, uh, uh, puts your ad uh, in, a, in, a, in a kind of different category uh, so that people can uh, click on it. So, uh, so it, is, it is not that difficult to write this ad, but someone has to be very careful uh, when, you, when, you, when you write the copy of the ad. Next thing you have to focus on would be the landing page. Okay, now landing page is not, actually is not and then the, uh, the home page of your website. So you have to have pro you have to provide a separate landing page for separate keywords because when a user is searching for a keyword, they should expect to find that particular keyword on on that particular page. So your land you have to design different landing pages for different keywords so that uh, you can convert. So, and it should also provide the answer to the searcher's question because, as you can see, searcher has just come to your website. And if the searcher does not find anything interesting, searcher is just going to hit the back button and then that, that customer is gone. So it's very easy for, for a visitor to leave. So the moment somebody comes in, you have to grab that person uh, with the right text and the right message so that that person can stay on the website. So a bad landing page can lead to wasted advertising because you have just now paid certain amount of money to Google uh, to for that person to come, and now you have paid the money. So you your it is your job now to convert um, that uh, a person into into a customer. So but you have to design your landing pages well enough so that uh, a person can stay there, and also a good landing page converts your shopper into a customer. So this is the most important thing you have to. So you are, so the design of a landing page is very very important. So this is something that we have to focus on when we do the when we do the PPC ad. Uh, quick question on landing pages, Ash. Was uh, can do the landing pages uh, are they integrated with the your normal website uh, or are they really designed separately and with easy navigation back to your normal website or? Yeah, see, you see, whenever we design a website, we always have a home page. Besides the home page, we always create a landing page for every keyword for which we are advertising. And from the landing page, sure, there will be a links to go to the home page as well. But from the landing page, should only describe that particular product. Suppose I am selling two, uh, three products, A, B, and C. So I have a home page of my company, but I have a lot of product pages for A, B, and C. So if someone is searching for A, then that person arrives on that particular landing page, and from that person, the goal remains to be to convert it, to sell it. Uh, there is no need to uh, tell them about everything what the company is doing. The right, right. goal remains to be to sell it. So right there, there should be a button about how you can uh, check in right. and, and put your credit card and sell it. 
But there will be other links also on the page that if a user choose to come to your web home page, they can do that thing. Right. So is that landing page, though, is that is that the same page that the person would navigate to naturally if they did come to the home page to see that product? Possibly. Because that way that. It's, it's a little more integrated. Right. right yeah. So the thing is that uh, on that uh, like, on that landing page, somebody can jump all by itself without even going to the home page. Right. right. Okay. Understood. Okay. So and so using the search engine optimization, using keywords. So there are two ways that some person can come to the, come to the landing page. One is doing the organic search or using PPC. So using organic as well as PPC, both of, in both ways, a user can arrive on that particular landing page. Right. And if a person is coming from PPC, it means you are already paying to, uh, to Google for, for that person to arrive there. So now the goal remains to be to convert that person as soon as possible. Right, right. So that is the whole idea behind the landing gotcha. page. Because what, what we've seen is some, landing, some of these landing pages immediately start asking for information. Yes. And those people tend to click off of very quickly. Right, they want your name or address or something else, right? Right. Before they... right. Yeah. So, so, in fact, landing page should have a very good description of your product and also the benefits and the keyword the, that the keyword is searching for. Keyword is uh, suppose someone is searching for tennis racket, so there should be description for the tennis racket, nice picture, all information about tennis racket, and there should be a button here which says that check out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put it in your basket. Yeah. That's it. There is no point in at, at that particular stage, no point in describing how great your company is. Because user is not interested in how great your company is. User wants to buy a tennis racket. So you click on the tennis racket, buy it, and that's it. That, that's what the goal. So the landing pages have to be designed very carefully. And if you don't design it properly, of course, you're going to lose, a, lose your sales. And in fact, the best place to... Uh, to see how a website should be designed, of course, is uh, on the website of Amazon. Amazon is kind of a gold standard of how the business should be done. Uh, so, if, if, you know, they have, if you search for a product, you, you don't reach at the homepage of Amazon. You just jump straight to the product, and you just immediately go and buy those things. And, if, again, when um, uh, if you are having a kind of conversion ratio of somewhere around between 3 to 5, it is a very good number. I mean, out of 100 people who are going to come, if three or five of people are buying something, it's a very good number. In the case of an Amazon, they get somewhere close to 10%. So that, and again, using this, these kind of a tools, we can precisely measure what kind of a conversion ratio we are getting. But if you are getting around three to five, you are doing extremely well. But if you don't design your landing page very well, very likely this number will come out to be zero. And that, of course, would be very, very bad for your, for your company. So the landing pages is very, very important to have. Then also, um, your ad quality should be very, very good. As you can see, that advertisement is not advertising when it is information. If you try to show off, if you want to uh, uh, kind of put a uh, kind of gun on somebody's head and say, hey, buy it, nobody is going to buy it. You have to say in a very subtle way exactly uh, what you want to say. So basically, advertising is not advertising when it is information. So you have to provide good information. And in fact, the best ads provide useful information. And you have to convince that person in a very subtle way that you should buy it. But if you force to buy it, of course, people are just going to run away from it. And again, these are the foundations of, of uh, marketing. These issues are basically discussed in the marketing courses in the MBA programs, that how the ad should, should be created. And the same things are also applicable uh, in the PPC area as well. So, the, um, and also when you place an ad, you cannot write anything you want to. There are also a lot of editorial policy uh, that which are limited by the number of characters and also the content policy. And you cannot sell any illegal stuff. You cannot sell drugs. You cannot sell any other kind of illegal stuff. And, uh, and also, uh, whatever you are advertising should match with uh, the stuff that you have on the website. Google is very, very kind of picky on it. So when you place an ad, Google has to approve it. It means Google will go to your website and verify that exactly this is what you are selling, and that's what the price is. is. You cannot say on your ad that I'm selling something for $10, but when somebody reaches on your website, it is $100. No, it has to exactly 10 And if, you're, uh, if you if you, if you if you uh, if you don't have uh, if you, if you 
don't change your pricing or if you uh, if your prices are, are, are different on the website than, 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 than what you have in your ad, your ad will be disqualified by Google. So you have to, uh, you know, the, so Google makes sure that, uh, that all of the advertisers are very ethical companies. Yeah, so there's a question over there about, you know, do you get, if somebody clicks a bunch of times mm -hmm. on your ad word to try to, you know, charge you a lot of money, if they're right. a competitor, does that right. cost you? or what? That's right. So this thing is called actually click fraud. Mm -hmm. And this thing usually happens um, um, that if your uh, uh, competitor is trying to drain your uh, to drain your money, but if you can prove that this, these kind of clicks are coming from the same IP addresses, then you can approach Google, and Google very likely is going to uh, um, refund that uh, that money. But you have to prove that thing, and it is not that difficult to prove that there's some kind of click fraud is happening. Uh, so, because when someone is buying something, uh, then in that case, we know the exact uh, um, IP address of that particular person, of that particular machine from where that, that kind of request came through. So, yes, it is possible to find out the uh, click fraud, and uh, it is. Uh, and once you can prove it, then Google is going to credit your your, your account by that by that amount. Okay, so now let's look into one of the very good features of uh, uh, Google AdWords. See, Google basically forces that your ad should be good. Uh, so, see, the thing is, is that if, suppose, you create an ad. Now, here is a searcher, and here is Google. Now, suppose your goals, and this is suppose you are, you are advertising something, and your goals are not aligned with the goals of a searcher and the goals of Google. Then let's see what is going to happen. So when uh, I mean when the quality of your ad is not good, in that case, what is going to happen is that the searcher is going to be dissatisfied because the quality of your ad is is bad, and also advertisers is going to be dissatisfied because no one is going to click on the ad, and Google is also going to get to, uh, be, be, be be very dissatisfied because they cannot make any money. You can make only I mean, Google can only make money if the people are going to click on those ads. So now let us look into the goals. So the searcher's goals are to see the most relevant information and to see the most, um, like the most relevant ads. And of course, advertiser's goal is to encourage searcher to click on their ad. But if your ad itself is so poor quality, no one is going to click on it. And so in that case, everybody is going to lose. Searcher is going to run away. Uh, you're not going to make any money. And although you're not going to pay any money to Google, but you won't be able to sell anything. And Google, of course, will, will not be happy because they cannot make any money. So Google basically forces uh, all the advertisers to provide uh, 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 very good ads. So, so, so more people who are going to click on an ad, your rates that you're going to pay to Google will also come down which is called the CTR, and that is the beauty of uh, uh, the Google's uh, uh, go, um, uh, system, is that now suppose if, if the goal of the advertiser matches with the goals of searcher and the, and the Google, then everybody, uh, uh, in, in, fact, in fact, everybody uh, uh, makes money and happy. Now let us look into the goal of searcher. Search a goal is to see the most relevant information and to see the most relevant ads. Now, advertiser's goal is to encourage searcher to click on their ad. And the Google's goal, is, of course, is to make money from, uh, from the advertisers. So when, so when the quality of an ad is good, in that case, the searcher, advertiser, as well as Google are going to be satisfied. So, so that is the reason why your rate that you're going to pay to Google is a function of CTR. And CTR stands for click-through rate. And CTR basically means that the more number of people are going to click on an ad, the less amount of money you're going to pay. So it is in your interest that you provide some good ad. Because of that, you're going to pay less amount of money. And, and then on top of it, I mean, more people are going to click on your ad, so you're going to make uh, I mean, more money anyway. But your CPC cost is also going to come down. So basically, uh, Google gave some incentive to the advertiser to, to have very high quality ads so that people are going to click on that thing, and it is in the best interest of searcher, also it is in the best interest of advertiser, also it is in the best interest of Google. And this is the reason 
why CTR concept is a very important one. And when, when Google introduced the concept of CTR, which is the click-through rate, Google uh, AdWords became very, very successful. So this is the reason why uh, Google's ads uh, work very well. So now, as I said in, just in the uh, I mean, previous slide, that if you're going to provide a very high quality ad, it is good for the searcher because they are going to get the right information and also good for the advertiser because people are going to click on that ad and of course they will be able to uh, sell whatever they are selling. And also their cost of CPC will go down as more and more people are clicking on that ad. And of course it is good for Google because they make most amount of money that way. So it is kind of a good for all of uh, all the three parties. And that is the reason why Google AdWords works basically extremely well. So um, there, there is one more concept which I would like to introduce here, which is a quality score. Is that if your quality scores is going to be high, then you are going to pay basically less amount of money. So the cost that goes you have to pay is less. So uh, again, uh, I mean, quality score is a function of your ad, and also quality score is a function of CTR. So the higher the CTR, the higher the quality score, the lower the cost of CPC for you. And if you make your quality score higher, you will wind up paying uh, basically less amount of money to Google. And of course, uh, you are also going to get more amount of traffic and more sales. Okay, so now uh, let's look into how we can link our AdWords account with uh, uh, analytics. As you know, Google actually also provides analytics services. And analytics, as I said before, allows you uh, to compute the traffic in it, or you can measure the traffic. So you can link your AdWords with your analytics account. And Google is the only company that provides the AdWords service as well as the analytics service. So these two services uh, are, are, can be linked with each other. And because analytics is a place where you can find out how much amount of traffic you are, uh, you are, you are getting and the sales which are occurring. Whereas AdWords is a place where you can find out how much amount of money you are spending. So the amount of money that you are that you are, you are um, I mean, getting from uh, your sales, and amount of money that you are spending with AdWords, and if you divide analytics with AdWords, that you can compute ROI, which is the return on investment. If hundred dollars you have spent on AdWords, the amount of profits that you are going to get should be more than hundred dollars, because that then only it makes sense to advertise on on AdWords. So now let us look into an example. And again, this is a very fictitious company. Uh, let's assume that 30,000 people uh, kind of entered the keyword uh, when, the, when the ad was shown. And you have basically bid 40 cents per click. So now let's assume that out of, uh, uh, I mean, 30,450 people basically clicked on your ad. So your CTR is going to be 450 divided by 30,000, that is 1.5%, which is a pretty good number. And so your ad, which is gonna cost you would be, since you have bid for 40 cents, 40 cents multiplied by 450 is equal to $180. So you will get a bill from uh, Google for $180. So Google basically brought 450 people out of 30,000 uh, to your doorstep. Now you have to convert 450 people. Now let's assume these same 450 people now uh, uh, who have clicked on an ad, they have seen your landing pages and sign up page, and then you get 90 leads out of it. And from that 90 leads, suppose if you make a phone call, suppose if you are selling offline, uh, then suppose 10 sales have occurred, and the profits from that 10, from, from that 10 sales is going to be $600. So as you can see that uh, you have spent $180 and amount of money that you have made from this thing is going to be $600. So your return on investment is going to be 600 divided by 180, that is 333%. So that is the way the ROI, ROI is, is, is being computed. Now this is a, just a fictitious company. You can, uh, in your case or anybody who's advertising it, uh, can measure these numbers, and these numbers are always available on your fingertips, and you can see whether your ads are working or they are not working. 
So now, if uh, now this whole thing that we saw in the previous example that uh, you spend $180, when you spend $180, you get a profit for $600. It means your ROI is 333%. So you can think in this way that suppose you go to Las Vegas and you enter $1 in your slot machine and every time you put $1 in, you get $3.33 as a reward. I mean, that's what basically ROI is all about. Of course, ROI is going to change with time, uh, but uh, the one way of looking at ROI is that amount of money that you are putting it in and amount of money that you are getting out of it. So this is basically what our ROI is. And uh, AdWords is the only platform that allows you uh, to compute uh, this ROI. So now you can also look into some other advantages of AdWords. It is for, from the print media. Um, see, if your, if your rates increase or for, for the print media or for the TV, you cannot really compute the ROI. Uh, but in the case of an AdWords, suppose your CPC cost from 40 cents to 50 cents, immediately you can compute your ROI. You can see whether it is making any sense for me or not. So you can very precisely compute whether your ads are working or not. Whereas this feature is not available in any other kind of advertising, whether it is newspaper, magazine, yellow pages, or TV ads or billboards. Uh, so here in AdWords allows you to compute your ROI, and this is one of the major major advantage of, uh, of AdWords. So you can also uh, do another thing. Suppose your CTR improves from 1.5% to 2.2%. You can compute your increased profit. Suppose your landing pages conversion goes from, uh, goes from 20% to 24%. You can immediately compute these things. So all these numbers, you can build a some very simple model, and then you can run the numbers, and you can compute whether these ads are making any sense or not. So this is the major advantage of uh, uh, Google AdWords. So now I would like to uh, very uh, kind of quickly summarize the kind of a courses that we are offering at UCI. And uh, so in, uh, in 2014, that is next within two, two months from now, um, we are offering a course here at UCI, uh, which will be Google AdWords uh, a certification, and it's going to be a 10, 10 weeks course. And Google also has an examination, which is called AdWords certification. So if you take this course, you, you, uh, you, you will prepare to take that, that course. And this course is starting in winter 2014. We're also offering another course, which is WordPress, how to build a website using a content management system. And this course has also been offered in winter 2014. And there will be another course coming up in spring, which is the hardest of predictive power of Google Analytics. That will be offered in spring 2014. So this is the outline of the AdWords course, which we'll be offering uh, in, in winter uh, quarter. So we are going to start with PPC, Google AdWords, AdWords account creation, the GUI of of, of AdWords, AdWords campaign management, ad design, keyword research, auction, bidding, CTR, quality score, and ROIs, and how to link AdWords with analytics and AdWords editor, and then also landing page optimization. So this is the outline of that course which we'll be offering in winter. Uh, there is another course which is, as I said before, coming up on, uh, on WordPress. And WordPress basically deals with how to create, uh, how to create a, a website using the WordPress content management system. Okay, so that's it. Ask you a couple other questions sure. that came in were uh, related to, to jobs. Uh, the first one was, how, you know, how how strong is the demand for jobs here in yes. this area? Um, and yes, there is to the second one. But go ahead. Yes, there is a heavy demand for for this uh, for this kind of a skills. Uh, as a matter of fact, there is a shortage of the people who understand analytics and also AdWords. Uh, and go and um, uh, so, if you if you want to find out uh, the how many people, I mean, how many jobs are opened up, you can always go to uh, Monster.com or CareerBuilders.com, and then you can search for Google Analytics, Google AdWords, and you will see thousands of jobs opening. No matter what kind of a business a person is, is in these days, you always require some kind of a presence on the web. And in order to do more business on the web, you need to have 
some basic understanding of the website, basic understanding of how the traffic is generated, and also of AdWords and analytics. So there's a very, very high demand for people who have these kind of skills. Yeah, absolutely. And the other question was more related to how do I get into this market if I'm not already there? And I know we always we, we, we recommend people getting out and you know, certainly taking uh, some of these uh, very specific industrial focused courses, but also uh, you know engaging in, in you know industry societies and other yes. things where they physically meet people in their local areas. That's right. So there are a lot of trade shows going on. In fact, uh, um, these trade shows are like eMetrics is one of them, and also. Uh, search Engine Expo, and also Ad Tech, and these are just a few of them. If you search for the trade shows uh, in the analytics or, or trade shows uh, for PPC, you're going to see at least 10 of these trade shows. And these tra tra um, uh, trade shows are happening uh, sometimes in LA, sometimes in San Francisco, New York, Chicago, and all these uh, kind of big cities. So the best idea thing is that just to first of all learn about this whole thing and then go to the trade shows where you will get an opportunity to meet with so many other people and you can build your network and uh, and uh, basically, once you have, once you know a whole lot of people, then it becomes easier to find a job or to to, to look for uh, what people are looking for. Yeah, and, and again, what, one of the things that we've seen people be very successful, especially people that are still undergraduates, and I know we have a couple on the line as well that are that are trying to make that transition or thinking about, uh, you know, how they're actually going to get a job. Uh, and what what uh, a lot of those people do again, what's successful for them is to, you know, make it uh, you put a goal. You know, say I'm going to meet uh, 30 or 40 or 50 new people uh, somehow, and and not just uh, virtually, not just via, via LinkedIn or Facebook, uh, but live in in uh, local meetings. Uh, again, the uh, uh, eMetrics uh, has has a great set of uh, local uh, presence. Uh, you, you depending on where you are, you certainly can find uh, a lot of different uh, society meetings that are going on. Get to them. They're usually just once a month or so. Uh, but during that meeting, you, you got to make it a point to meet as many people as you can and then keep track of them. Get their business card, hook up with them on LinkedIn, and keep track of them because later on, that's going to be your key to getting those jobs. 60 to 70 percent of all jobs people get, they get them because they knew somebody within the organization. Ash was a couple yes, more. there was one more. Uh, the, this question is here: uh, the, Is WordPress a software package? If so, do we need to purchase a WordPress to take the class? No, WordPress is a free software. WordPress uh, is an open source software uh, which is freely available. So you have to do. You don't have to install WordPress on your computer, but you have to install WordPress on the place where your website is. And most of the people who provide the hosting services usually provide a link to the WordPress site so that you can download it. But you can download it on your computer, build a website on your computer, and then you can also upload that thing to the to the server as well. But WordPress is, is an open source software, and WordPress actually is a content management system. Uh, and WordPress is written actually in the PHP language. So PHP is the language on which it is written. So in order to use WordPress, you don't have to be a programmer. You can... Uh, basically, it is meant for the people who do not have the programming skills. Okay, and one of the questions was also, is, is there anybody else getting money out of here? I, I think yes. uh, if I was asking, is there any agencies or any, anybody else making money in this chain, or is it just Google and... Right. You see, in, if you look into any other industry, most of the time there is always a middleman involved in it. But here, there is no middleman. Here, you just create an ad and just place it. Although if you call this thing as a middleman or the kind of consultant like our company, uh, but uh, we don't take any commission. Whatever services we provide, we bill uh, our client for those things. So if some, some client of mine who wants to create some ad, we will create an ad for them, uh, but we are going to charge them for our services. But there is no middleman. There is no kind of a commission involved in it. So here, uh, there are advertisers, and there is Google, uh, and, of course, there are searchers. And there are some consultants or the companies like us, basically, who provide services and who basically educate our clients that how to, to use uh, WordPress and how to create those ads. All right. And let's see. I think Barry had a question about if you're an undergraduate and can you add these two. Unfortunately, it's not part of... Uh, 
Uh, a course that you can add directly. Uh, these are uh, these, these particular courses, like a lot of these, are uh, extension courses. Uh, there's certainly if you if you did want to take them, and Barry, you can give us a call over here. Uh, if you did want to take them, they are quite a bit cheaper than a, like an undergraduate class that would, would cost quite a, quite a bit per unit. Uh, again, and these are pretty short things. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not part. This was a, for everybody else. This is a question from one of our students here at the university that's an undergraduate. Um, so th that's where that comes from. Uh, okay, is there any other questions? Let's see. I don't see any other ones. Again. Uh, please feel free to give us a call um, and, and, and chat. We're, we're, we do this a lot here at, at uh, University Extension. Uh, we help people transition into jobs, think about career paths. Uh, we help people that are in the maybe uh, transition, which means maybe they're unemployed right now. Uh, we know about sources of funding. Uh, if you're in those situations, uh, maybe you might be a returning vet or might, you just might be out of a job. Uh, there's some great funding sources for people in those categories uh, that can cover the entire set of courses, not just one course that we're talking about here. But most of these courses, that, as Ash showed, uh, are uh, part of a group of classes that we call a, a certificate program. And again, these are short certificates, usually four or five or six classes in an area, again, that gives you high uh, demand in, in, in the job market uh, and can really help you get the skills needed to get those jobs uh, on top of anything you might have had regardless of what your undergraduate is, undergraduate major might have been. So please feel free to uh, contact us. We, we kind of we guide people all the time kind of career-wise, counseling-wise, regardless of whether people are, are directly taking classes from us or not. That's part of uh, one of the parts of the mission here at the University of California is not only to do the research and teach undergraduates, but also to, to help uh, develop the workforce and make sure employers have uh, the right skilled individuals. And again, usually it's in some of these sets of short courses that we do that. All right, well, with that, I'd just like to say thank you very much to Dr. Ash Power for being here. Uh, as always, presented a, a very good set of information that gets everybody thinking about how they might be able to do this or what else they might need to learn in order to, uh, you know, improve their own business. And I want to say thank you to all of you guys for taking the time out. What I think for most of you was a lunch hour uh, for those on the West Coast here. Uh, we certainly appreciate that as well. And with that, just uh, have a great afternoon, everyone. Thanks again, Ash. Yep, thank you.